We're at the shed here where there's no power. So we've got my generator here, my house generator, and the, it's for the silos. I can make a good cup of coffee with this one. Well, hello everybody and welcome. Uh, it is currently the 22nd of April. Um, we still have, I don't know, maybe another week or so before we're going to get started with the planting. Um, we have a little bit to happen before that. We're not planting any canola this year, so canola is usually a little earlier, so we would be planting by now. Um, but yes, we've got uh, pretty well everything sorted, um, ready to plant. We've just got to run a few tests, but yeah, everything's looking pretty good. So we've got plenty of moisture. We're not going to be in a massive hurry. So it's actually at this stage looking like it could be a, I don't know, I won't say relaxed planting, but it'll be um, a little less stress um, as opposed to some years where it is that wet, you can't plant. Um, or it's that dry you're chasing moisture and time is of the essence before the moisture goes so at this stage it's looking pretty good so that's the quick update um, we're just fiddling around doing a few odd jobs um, it is still a bit too wet for a lot of paddock work um, we've got to still defoliate the cotton um, and that maybe might happen today tomorrow possibly um, I'm actually just here with the weed it and I've got to fit a gas strut to the door which let go on me the other day so I've got a new one of them ready to put on um, and the other thing is um, it might have been in the last video or one of the previous videos I've actually got to test another injector so Don't tell me those gas struts are gone too. Why? I only lifted this up a few days ago and that was a lot easier than that. Doesn't feel like the gas struts are working there either. Uh, anyway, so uh, injector number three, I've got to check. Yes, so it looks like another dodgy injector there. So we'll probably be putting the other yeah, we'll order four and put, replace the faulty one and replace the other ones that we haven't replaced yet because we don't want it to break down again, which is what it's been doing recently with three year old injectors. So, Well, we're back up here at the main shed here. There's, there's a little bit going on. It's kind of too many little jobs going on to really make sense of it all, but We've got Dad here, I'll sneak up. Oh, you, you, it's a bit too hot for you, you got your buttons undone. Oh, yeah. Get the steam up. <laughs> so, uh, in a previous video, you guys would have been updated, I think, what roughly, a little bit of what's been going on with this, with the tanks. So, we've got, um, yeah, the red tank that was on here needs to be fixed, and this tank was sitting out the back for a little while, not doing much, so... It's probably, be, what would you say, a better suited size for this trailer than 5,000 litres? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, wouldn't. It would look good, wouldn't it, filling it up slowly? Yeah. Putting the big, uh, oh, it's beyond, beyond Robbo's ute there, but yeah, the big 13,000 litre tank. Mm. Yes, um, but we didn't fill, when the red tank was on here, the 5,000 litre tank, we didn't fill it up uh, full. No, well. Well, it was done a couple did, of times. One did, someone did once. Didn't Is someone's name starting with P? Could be. Yeah. Well, it's either Phil or you, and yeah. it doesn't sound like something Phil would do. No. <laughs> so, but that was only done once. Yeah. <laughs> Phil usually learns after the first disaster. <laughs> Brad and I take a little bit more convincing. There's probably what three or four times before there's half a lesson learnt. So anyway, uh, got distracted. So um, last video it was all mounted on, he wasn't it? But now you're doing a bit of the plumbing. Well, yeah. That that little insert was in that tank like that and it, it came loose and I put water in it and it started to leak so anyway I've had two, one or two reruns so I've taken that out and I didn't have a two inch tap so I used a, a nipple and I re... what, do you, what would you call it? Re, um, 
tonight's your story. Mm. Made a tap out of it. I made a tap out of it. And um, and then I threaded that into there and made a two inch thread straight into that without needing the insert. Because Brad wants to upgrade everything to a bigger <laughs> pipe as you can, which we had an inch and a half on it. And so now. We all know on the suction side, the bigger the suction side, the, yep. the better the flow. So now that, that goes in there. Yeah, don't cross thread it. It probably won't go there now that you've got that camera on. But if I'd had it in there, it was looking good. And that goes in there, and I'll put a bit of sealant, Loctite or something in there, and that looks pretty nice. I'm real happy with that. Mm. But, and then that then goes, I forgot to get a nipple this morning, it connects it up to that, that goes into there. And that's our pipe there, which goes into the pump. And then, yes. And then I'm just putting a bit of sight gauge in there. And, you know, as per usual, sometimes, someone did the wrong size, mat. <laughs> anyway. You really need a, um, need the Sammy get on the inside, don't you? Could you get a, with that hole there, could you bend a bit of metal yeah. With a um, what do you call them? The the nut for these, and hold that on there and screw it in with a bit of silicon. Silicon. It's not. A, it's an inconvenience. It's not a disaster. No. Not, There's uh, plenty. Of, it's plastic. You can do. You can do all sorts. So now I've um, just been puttering away and mm. trying as much as possible to use existing equipment on a what do they call it? The razor gang. We've got the razor gang going. The what? Razor gang. You know when in politics they. They call it the Razor Gang when the politicians put a knife through all the budgetary expenses and they cut they cut bits out. Yeah, right. So, um, programs, must, programs and that. I must teach different things in school these days. Well, well, I did economics at school, but don't tell anyone. No. Because, what, then you might be accused of knowing roughly what you're doing? or well, Mum doesn't know that. So. Well, I guess if, you, if people know you've done something, you've got no excuse for being stupid then, I guess, is it? True. Yeah. No, I qualify for that. <laughs> so, uh, and I don't tell many people. <laughs> so. Well, so anyway, well that's good. That'll um that'll be good to get this back in the, back into use. And she'll be unrestricted flow, which will really please Brad. Mm. So it's basically the plumbing is is we can suck from the tank yeah. or we can suck from um an, an outside source so, or a dam, we can throw the hose into a dam and suck from another water source so you shut that one off turn that one on suck through the pump and then this is going to go into the top of the tank there's this hose there's a fitting already up there for that so you can suck from here and fill the tank or you can suck from here and go straight out here or you can um there's a t over here which we got for the firefighter nozzle that um this black hose here wherever the oh, uh, no yeah. where is it where's the end of it exactly here. oh down there yeah so that's, um, yeah, you can just flick this tap over here and uh, then you can obviously suck from the tank and fight fires. Um, so yeah, it's all very multi-purpose. We can do all sorts. That's for the fire reel. Yeah, that's for the reel at the front. So if you want, that's a 30 metre reel. So if you can't get too close and you're going on foot, you can just grab that and run. You can have two people, one yeah. hopping up, one squirt, putting out the mm. fire and the other just mm. fog nozzle behind. Yeah, yeah. Mm. No, it so it's... So it's, um, and it'll be a bit nicer to get around on the trailer here with a bit smaller tank, won't it? Yeah. So we can stand up on the platform there and... Yeah. yeah. So, anyway, that's, that's that. Uncle Ian actually, and I think Riley, did a bit of pop riveting, so they fixed up a bit more of the panels here. She was a bit wild and everything, all the bits of metal were flapping everywhere, but it's looking a lot nicer now. So there's that, and then we've also got Robbo, while it's a bit wet, he's, he's servicing the beast. Yeah, and fried a battery on the way to work this morning. <laughs> yeah. Maddie yes. smelled it a mile away. <laughs> yes, I know the smell well of a cooking battery. And yeah. I, uh, yes, Robbo was a bit concerned that it, he was making the smell. But <laughs> <laughs> I was checking the air conditioning to make sure I didn't have a rodent or something. <laughs> so, so I got a new battery in there, didn't you? Yeah, so mate. that's good. Yeah, um, changed. Or, yeah, servicing it, oil change, fuel filter, all that. Yeah, all the gear. All, all the well. good stuff, and um, she's right to do another 10,000, eh? Yeah, yep. So how's it going? How's the ute? Yeah, good, mate. Compared good. to the uh, Colorado? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, a bit more sturdy. <laughs> Not, yeah. Don't necessarily work on it less, but it gives you a little bit more confidence. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, she done a, she done a few hard yards yeah. in Colorado. Yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was well and truly abused by Dad before you got it. Yeah. So, can't blame it. <laughs> Righto, well, I think um, that's enough for the update for the minute. I don't think, I, it's just, it's one of those things where there's just that many small jobs that it's, it's going to confuse me, it's going to confuse you guys, it's going to confuse absolutely everybody if I try and, um, yeah, take you along with me because I don't even know what I'm doing next. So, um, but I'll, uh, yeah, I'll update once there's a bit more clarity in what's going on. Well, we are back. I've stumbled across dad who looks like he might just be ready to test it so it is quite a bit better suited i think this this tank what's going on yeah well it's it's basically the only exciting thing that's happening today so give me a push you want oh mate how, how much do you want a fair bit so yeah it's about the only exciting thing happening today so oh yeah so you got your that's all in there. So, is this a leak test? Yep. Yep. It is. I'm going to just do a gravity test for you. Yeah, turn him on. I'm falling Don't fall over. over. I'm getting too excited, mate. So, you want to turn him on and we'll bleed it here? Well, it's, I've got it. It's going in the back there, but right. in the bottom. I'm going to turn that one off just to purge the air. No, that's the problem. Yep. This one on, and it should fill from the top. It's working. Sounds like it's loading up. Yeah, it's going in. No. Just in through here, and this is higher than that tank, so it'll. Hopefully. Well, it, it will. It'll fill it up to about here. You can just leave it connected and not have to worry about it. So that tank doesn't fill full, does it? It's about a foot from the top? Yeah. I could. I should do something about that, eh? That's not very efficient. <laughs> I think it's efficient enough. Anyway, that's good. All pretty much done then. That's a That's been a project, hasn't it? Yeah, but it's kept me out of mischief, eh? <laughs> it's got you into some too. <laughs> well, good day, guys. Good afternoon. Hope you are all going well out there in video land. Well, oh, she's all coming adrift. So JD's over there, me and him, we're mother binning. So the old one, we cut it out the other week. The upright tube, we're getting all the flights done. The tube was all um, thin and worn out badly. So what we thought we'd do is just cut the tube out, and leave all the structure in place. Uh, and then we've just been working on, we've got the offcuts there of the tubing. Here we've just been uh, using our come-alongs here to get this into place, sit it up in that little um, hopper. Uh, we've got it poking up through there up there and we're just about ready to start welding and tacking and uh, it's going in pretty good with the come along so the only thing is this backbone's warped a bit with the heat i think so we'll um just probably snig that bend it down i don't want to preload it too much and uh, the other thing we've got to do is put a, a uh, slide door in the bottom here so we can clean her out we forget that so we're at the shed here where there's no power, so we've got my generator here, my house generator, and the, it's for the silos. I can make a good cup of coffee with this one. So it's uh, 30 kVA, so I've been using the plasma. It's, we've only got three phase plasma, so it's been going well. We're going to get the welder running, angle grinders. Yeah, our little mobile set up. 
So, anyway, we'll try and get back to you if I remember. Well guys, in this very here and there and everywhere kind of a day, we're back here at the main farm um, and we do have Brad's ute here. I've just made a start, I've pulled the guards off, pulled the hoses off, drained the coolant and now I'm just trying to fiddle around to get the radiator out so it should be very close to being out. Um, this here was what Uncle Ian and some of the kids cleaned up. Um, when was it? It was last week, but I might have been a video or two ago. Um, I didn't actually get to check this out, but uh, yeah, this is where sort of our um, old sump oil gets stored and our chocks, wood chocks, our jack stands, um, and yeah, just all the different sort of odds and ends that you want to access but don't necessarily need to be in the shed it'd be great probably if the wood was but they're covered in enough oil and that that they'll be right out here um and yeah all of this is just all tidied up with the grass that was a bit overgrown and all of that so um we've got all the 44 gallon drums over there they're quite handy to have um just ready to go for um yeah putting old oil in whatever so we keep a few of them around um but yeah so that's looking really tidy so I might set you guys here and we'll see if this comes out like I'm hoping it does. Now I think the pinhole was over this side. Um, yeah, over here somewhere I think it must have been. There's a bit of grass and all sorts gets wedged up in there. Maybe a little stone hit it or something, but uh, yeah. So I'll unpack this, double check it's all gonna work and um, yeah, get it fitted up. Well, here it is and it, so far it's looking like it's the right one. So that's that's excellent. I probably should have checked that before I uh, pulled the old one out. Not that the old one was much good. Under. So that's pretty much all the exciting bits of that. I've just got to get underneath and um, yeah, hook up all the hoses double check everything's bolted in and clipped in and then fill it up with coolant. I've got a bit of um, concentrate there. I've got to mix 50-50 with water, um, top that up and then it'll be ready to go. So that's, that's all the excitement for the moment, at least anyway. I think that'll be it for today, guys, and probably for this video. So really appreciate you watching, guys. Hope you do enjoy it. Um, a lot of these, some days are just you know you have it all planned out i thought oh yeah it's going to be a good day today i'll get some good footage of doing all this cage repair on the rock picker and that'll be just a nice video but that obviously didn't work out so there's just a lot of to and fro and a lot of not really knowing what's going on um until yeah you're doing it basically so uh, but hopefully you still enjoyed it guys and uh thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next one